Welcome back to the Guitar Spire, where we bring you all the beautiful guitars reviewed just for you. My name is Javis, and welcome back to this living room, where we only bring you great guitar reviews. And uh, this one just came in about an hour ago. I've uh, this is basically a Martin, not your normal Martin, but the Martin Junior, and this is the Martin Junior. Uh, Dread Junior 2. 2 means uh, it's not a set cut spruce top, it's a a mah mahogany base sepili, sepili, sepili uh, back and sides, solid sepili back and sides. Look at this beautiful sepili on this guitar, like a m mahogany species. It's all fully solid. And um, how is it different from the, the uh, spruce tops? Let me just start review. You get a 25 inches. Uh, scale length on this guitar which is very relatively easy on your hands and oh, uh, you got a black rich light fretboard and even a bridge you got the tusk saddle and the korean nut on this one three quarter neck code that neck width so it's so easy to play for finger style players uh for strummers with electric uh, guitar feel you just get it you get used to it to the wider string string spacing 24 inches is easy on your friends uh, on your hands and you this default is uh, the medium gauge strings so you got lots of bottom end on this guitar as as you can see most of the treble guitars sound really boxy and thin but you know Martin push pushes the envelope and and it took them some some time to get this out because uh, the GS minis from the Taylors are, are relatively good guitars but the only problem in, in, in a very high relative humidity uh, country like this is you get lots of bridge lip because there's only one tone bar okay come come let's uh, talk about constructions very forward shift and that's why um, all the way to the edge of the sound hole and you got two tone bars what's the difference between this um, bracing is one quarter inch uh, wide bracing and normally most of the dreadnoughts uh, even the D28 uh, most of the uh, D series uh, or even the OM series are 5 16 inches is wider they put this one quarter and it gives you a little bit more of that responsiveness on this and two tone bar so you get not just um, a, a nice sounding guitar but structurally uh, the next set on this is perfect and um, lovely neck profile on this super easy to play all these are made in Mexico but don't let that Mexico name uh, um, put you put you off right? because um, of that quality control that Martin strict quality control that Martin exercise in their factory so really good stuff um, it's a tough saddle I suggest either you put a, a bone unbleached use the unbleached bone saddle or this one as this case as a it's a FMI saddle give it a richer tone because the owner wants to drop down to D and sing it a wanted a warmer sound how does the spruce tone compare the spruce is slightly brighter and things like that this one has more mid-range more fundamental notes and a really um, the, the, the bass notes on this is really unreal uh, it's not as bassy as the spruce top but over time when the the uh, Sepili opens up, you got a very woody tone. If you're playing a lot of blues, a lot of uh, stuff like that, then this will be the guitar for you. Look at the how, what's the difference between the grain on the Sepili against the 15 series and the 17 series? Um, you will see that the Sepili that they have, this one has a little bit of that figuring that you won't see on, on the high end series. You can see a little bit of lines here, a little bit of lines here, a bit of wave, and you don't see that in, in, in the 15 series or the 17 series, of course, because you pay more than double the amount of money. So uh, this is restrung with the median gauge uh, lifespan strings that is on this. I've upgraded to the FMI saddle, okay? Neck is straightened up because out of the box, the neck was really curved and, and really, um, action is really too high for me even for me to play and if you set down the action really at the sweet spot and you you need to balance not just lower down the bass and then the travels is too low and then you don't get the, the travels coming up you need to balance your your tech or guitar technique to just balance the the uh, travels and the bass so that it's balanced and you get it's like hi-fi you know you just EQ it and that takes a little bit of time so don't waste your money on people who say i can do a setup there are different kinds of setup in the market 
you can trust me, just send to me. <laughs> okay, let's let's play and just see how it sounds. as a spruce top uh, but because you know the solid uh, sepili is really is a harder tone wood and it will take some time but once it opens up with the one uh, one quarter bracing it will sound really different <laughs> So it's a bit difficult. Position. Let's just come closer.
Let's cap this baby on the third friend and just listen to how it sounds, baby. Yeah. For all you mahogany species fans, so they call it Sipili, the Sepeli. Sipili is Sepeli. The top is still extremely tight.
All right, all right, is that's about all I'm beginning to like this guitar. If you're in Singapore, the Martin distributors are none other than City Music, uh, really nice people, Yin Long, uh, Mike Mayuni, and all the, the guys all in black, you know, wears his t-shirt inside there, nice guys who's willing to help you, okay? I personally feel that if you want a three-quarter size guitar, buy this Martin, I mean, the Martin Jr. 1 or Martin Jr. 2. If you like something that's really uh, open, straight out of the box, lots of it, very agey, very punchy, um, uh, three quarter size guitar with the medium, you have to put medium gauge. Don't put light gauge on this because light gauge won't maximize the top, won't give you, won't let the top move that much. Of course, you say, will it swell? No, because it's short skill and there are two tone bars here to compensate. The neck is pitched perfectly. Um, and I think because of the, the reach like it's very stiff, the neck is really straight. Of course, uh, when you just buy it, it's straight and then you need to just adjust, send it to somebody, adjust it, get it set up. Because if the the Martin Jr. doesn't play that well, doesn't sound that well, that's, that means there's something wrong. So get it sent to somebody you trust uh, to get it to get it fixed, set it up. Because once you set it up, you're not, not going to let it get down because music is going to flow from this guitar because this is a song by the guitar you can sit down and play it you can sing some song to your son you can get people to just sign names write a little bit of stuff on a mark on this and this guitar can be a historical guitar where uh when you you see some of the stuff that is is being written by your friends could be a church group could be your wife they write certain memos on this you draw maybe a bear claw bear uh, a footprint on it and stuff like that and when you play and when you look through it's gonna bring you good memories so this is a guitar to buy i firmly believe if you uh, for that money in Singapore and even in the States buy the uh, Dreadnought Junior it's even better than the GS Mini or even the Big Baby how does it compare to the Big Baby Big, Big Baby is really tin sounding okay I'm not bashing Taylor I love Taylor's but you know I'm just being honest with you can I be just forthright honest with you buy this you know guitar they, they don't Martin don't pay me any cent or they don't even give, give me strings for it for that matter to say this uh, I'm saying it on a personal level so get the uh, Martin Jr. whether you like the spruce top because the whole guitar is full solid. There's no laminate on the back and insides. So Martin Guitars, City Music, on this uh, in Singapore. Uh, right now they're having a sale right now. I mean, they didn't pay me to say that, but uh, you know, the nice guys, good guitars, I'll just recommend it. And if you like this review, is to post some comments just below this YouTube video. And if you want to watch more great guitar reviews, is to, you know, subscribe, press the subscribe button. But most important, post it in the Facebook. Give me a thumbs up. Recommend to your friend. You're going to see this guy. is funny and he's, he's entertaining and he's just real. He's being authentic. You know, you see me off screen. Uh, some people have met me off screen. Think I'm the same old guy. You know? I'm the same guy. You know, it's the same. So to my next review, gonna say love and passion, play guitar, love, joy, peace, health, and love to be multiplied in your life. Grace, I speak to you. Okay, bye bye.